12th Sunday after Pentecost. 12th Sunday after Pentecost. The epistle being taken from St. Paul's letter to the second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 3, verses 4 to 9. Brethren, such confidence we have through Christ towards God. Not that we are sufficient to anything of ourselves, as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God, who hath also made us fit ministers of the New Testament, not in letter, but in the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit quickeneth. Now if the ministration of death engraven with letters upon stones was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses, for the glory of his countenance was in, which is made void, how shall not the ministration of the Spirit rather be in glory, be rather in glory, if the ministration of condemnation, for if the ministration of condemnation be glory, much more the ministration of justice abundant in, abundant in glory. And the, the, today's gospel is taken from St. Luke chapter 10, verses 23 to 37. At that time Jesus said to his disciples, Blessed are the eyes that see the things which you see. For I say to you, that many prophets and kings have desired to see the things that you see, and have not seen them, and to hear the things that you hear, and have not heard them. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up tempting him, and saying, Master, what must I do to possess eternal life? But he said to him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? He answered, saying, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with thy whole heart and thy whole soul, and with, thy whole and with all thy strength and all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said to him, Thou hast answered rightly, This do, and thou shalt live. But he, willing to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell among robbers, who also stripped him, and having wounded him, went away, leaving him half dead. And it chanced that a certain priest went down the same way, seeing him pass by, in like manner also a Levite, when he was near the place and saw him pass by. But a certain Samaritan, being on his journey, came near him, and seeing him was moved with compassion, and going up to him, bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and setting him upon his own beast brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And the next day he took out two pence and gave to the host, and said, Take care of him. Whatever thou, uh, thou shalt spend over and above, I have my return will repay thee. Which of these three, in thy opinion, was, the, was neighbor to him that fell among robbers? But he said, He that showed mercy to him. And Jesus said, Go thou and do in like manner. Thus are the words of today's Holy Gospel. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. We see in today's Gospel Christ in his parable is paraphrasing his act towards man that when Adam sinned, he went from paradise to, the, to, the, to between Jerusalem and Jericho, so that he was taken by robbers, he lost sanctifying, man lost sanctifying grace, man is cursed with original sin, God promises a redeemer and again he's in this parable he is explaining what he what he himself is to do for man and it is that action that man must do for others God came and died on the God came down, became man, and died on the cross. And that is the length that he wishes for us to treat our neighbor. That the great pains that he went to redeem the human race. 
He went through his passion. His own people rejected him. His own people condemned him. He was scourged, beaten, blasphemed. And he still and he still died on the cross for our sins. That is the length of which he wishes us to go to help our neighbor. And that anyone that the that the seven, that the corporal works of mercy and the cor and, and the and the spiritual works of mercy too, that is to whom our neighbor applies. That we in any situation we see our cross daily. And that we go to that length to carry our cross for another. We carry our cross for our neighbor. We carry our cross for the hardened sinner. We carry our sufferings for those who, who cannot, who are so hardened in sin. We carry, we, we do, th we see someone that is, needs help. We help them. We see someone that needs prayers. We pray for them. And this is what Christ is trying to portray to us. That this man was trying to be deceitful. He was trying to trip up Christ. He was a lawyer. And the Pharisees were trying to trip up Christ. And that this man was trying to get Christ to say something different than Moses. But Christ only replied what Moses' law was. That he must love you must love God with thy whole. Thy whole strength, thy whole heart, thy whole soul, thy whole, and with thy whole strength and thy whole mind. And thy neighbor as thyself. And then the man feeling, wishing to justify himself, says, Who is my neighbor? The reason he says this is because he feels above, uh, that this, this man feels like he is above others. But that there is no one, remember we are, we are worms, we are, we are food for worms. We live and we die and we will go to dust. We will take nothing from this world with us and no vain glory will we take with us. The only glory that we will take with us is that which we bring to heaven in our merit. That is the only thing that the treasures that are on this earth that are to be gained through merit are, is all that we can take with us. We cannot take anything with us from earth. So this man feels like he is above others. But we must realize that no one, we are, that, we, that in so far as we serve our neighbor, we are above no one. We are above no task, and we are above nothing. We are above no reproach. We are above no correction. And that, in many cases, we must take our crosses. In many, in, many, in all cases, we must, remember Christ said that our, Christ said to pick up your cross daily and follow him. And that we must uh, and to take up the cross is to die, and it is to die to self. We suffer in this world for a little while. Why not do some good? Why not go as our master went? Why not go as Christ went? And why not? Because he promises us something so great that we cannot understand, that we do not have the we do not have the reasoning to. It is not given to us to understand what what we are offered in heaven, and the treasures that we can win from <coughs> offering prayers to, uh, from offering our sufferings, offering doing everything above and beyond that which we do, that which is offered to us every single day. That try, uh, things present themselves to us, opportunities present themselves to us that we don't want to do. Things that can be done and we don't want to do. Somebody that needs help and we don't want to help them. Somebody that prayers that can be said and we don't want to say them. The spirit of the cross 
is what we must have in our is what we must bear on our heart. The spirit of the cross is what we must bear in our mind, in our soul. And to go towards Christ every day that there is something to be done, we offer it to God. And we are so forgetful and distracted in this day and age. There's so much there's so many distractions in modern day. But to wake up in the morning, set it before you. That Christ, I wish to die today. I wish to die on the cross that you present to me. And I wish to die and help me to die ever increasingly every day. Help me to love the cross. Help me to love suffering as you loved it. Help me to hold so tenderly that cross which you have held so which you held so tenderly and bore the victory upon. that I may conquer destiny in my last day as well. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost.